everybody, it's Teresa. Hope you're doing well today. Today I'm going to bring you a recipe for uh, mini cheddar biscuits. They're an appetizer. I thought maybe for the Super Bowl they'd be a good appetizer, but uh, who doesn't love biscuits and the cheese? And anyway, let's get started. I preheated my oven to 400 and I set a baking sheet with parchment paper. And right now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients. And I started with two cups of all purpose flour and I put one tablespoon of sugar. It doesn't call for that, but I just like to put a little bit in the biscuits. Always change the recipes up. And we need a tablespoon of baking powder. So that goes in. And a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. So that's, and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna use salted butter but I'm still gonna add a little bit of salt. Probably about a uh, half teaspoon. So we're just gonna mix our dry ingredients. And uh, you can do this in the food processor. I'm just gonna do it by hand. I feel like it's easier to video. And so I got my pastry cutter right here and my one stick of cold butter and I cubed it up into very small pieces. So I'm just gonna break that up. And I have my uh, one cup of buttermilk waiting. And I'll li list the recipe down below. Bread. Where's your bread? You want your butter to be uh, cold. You want everything to be cold, really. Okay, so we're just gonna take this pastry cutter and just work it, work this in the uh, flour. So I'm gonna work this in, and I'll come back to you, so you don't have to watch this boring. Okay, part. I got my butter worked in. You can see it's nice and crumbly. So I'm gonna add my one cup of buttermilk. And we're also going to add a cup of, I have short cheddar that I grated myself. It's a uh, Tillamook is the brand, I think. We really like that brand. I'm just going to eyeball the cheese. And if you use the food processor, it would break the cheese up a little bit better. That's about a cup. Um, I hope that's about a cup. Close this back. And then we're gonna put a little bit of, but you don't have to add a little bit of scallions. You know, it's up to you. You can add whatever cheese you want or can make it whatever you like. I'm just gonna add a few of these, not too many. My husband's not crazy about scallions or green onions. So I'm gonna mix this and see what kind of dough we have here. And my favorite spatula uh, broke and I still haven't found one that I really like and it looks like I might need a little bit more buttermilk I believe yeah that's that's too dry let me get some buttermilk I might have added more cheese than I was supposed to so I'm just gonna add about a fourth of a cup and that's whole buttermilk that we're using We've been using uh, buttermilk for different things and we really like it. And I really like the whole milk buttermilk. The low fat's good too. It's still pretty dry. I might have to get in there with my hands. That's probably good. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Just make sure you get all the flour worked in. You don't want any dry bits. And like I said, this is not the best spatula. And I'm trying not to overwork it, but I'm having a hard time getting that flour up from the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna get this together and then I'm gonna clean up my mess and then we're gonna roll it out on my pastry mat. See, well, I have a little bit of extra flour here, so I'm gonna sprinkle it on my, my little, uh, pastry mat. I'm just going to 
move the dough. I have another biscuit recipe where you don't have to roll it out, and they, those are really, really good if you want to check that video out. I'll try to link it. Okay, so let's sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top so we can work with it. You don't want to put too much, but I'm not even going to roll it out. I'm just going to, I think, move it around a little bit and press it down. Maybe I should roll it. I don't know. But you want it to be a half inch thick. And uh, the biscuit, we're going to end up, you could, the recipe where it sounds so good to me because it comes, uh, you put ham on it. I'm sorry I can't talk today. Uh, you put ham on it and you put a little fig jam on it. And I thought that just sounded just so good. So, and you can make them whatever size you want. I'm going to try to make mine a little bit mini. That looks about right. And uh, the recipe doesn't say this, but I'm going to also brush, brush them with uh, butter before I put them in the oven, which I have to melt still. So I'm debating on which size. They're supposed to be mini. I have to, you know, I have the different sizes. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one, the mini one. Not supposed to twist, I forgot. And that looks, that's pretty mini, so I'll put that on the pan. See, it's about a half inch thick. And do you like to put your biscuits close together or a few inches apart? I like to put mine close together. Let me know how, how you guys do it. I'm always looking for new ideas, new ways to make biscuits. I think they're wonderful. So I'm gonna cut these out and uh, I'll be back when we okay, brush them the plate. biscuits. Uh, I didn't count them, but it makes quite a few and it depends on the size, you know, the size you cut them. But I'm gonna brush them with a little bit of butter. And I tried to brush some of the excess flour off. And uh, you might want to use your rolling pin to make sure the even thickness. Mine are pretty close though, so and it's uh it's not it's you know it's just for us. It's not for a special occasion. So if some of them are a little uneven, it's it's okay. But uh, I think they're gonna bake for. Let me see. Fifteen minutes about. My other biscuit recipe, I was, we cook them at 450 and 500. So I'm gonna finish brushing these and put them in the oven and then I'll show you what they look like. I just took the biscuits out of the oven. They look nice and pretty. Some of them are taller than the others, but they're gonna be delicious. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit and I'm gonna show you how we're going to uh, prepare them. It's gonna be great. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that I'm gonna brush them with butter again once they come out of the oven. Keeps them nice and soft, and um, the more butter, the better, I think. But you can do it how you like. So I'm just gonna brush these and get out my ham and my fig jam, and we're gonna do a taste test. Okay, here's the biscuits. I went ahead and sliced them in half. And you can use uh, turkey, ham, whatever you like. I usually make my own figs, but I didn't have any this year. So I had to buy some fig jam. I just found this at Kroger. It's a Spring Hill fig jam. And I also have my homemade strawberry jam. So I'm gonna use both. But all you do is just, you know, take a, you want just a, a sliver of ham, and then you just take a, a little bit of uh, fig jam, spread it, and then close it up and it's just gonna be a delicious appetizer. So let's do another one. I'm just gonna put a little piece of ham. I love fig jam or figs, uh, preserved figs. I just, it's really my favorite, but I really like it uh, homemade. I used to be able to get figs, but I don't, I don't have uh, a resource anymore. And I sure I, I used to make strawberry figs. That was a, that was my favorite probably. And my biscuits are a little bit thin, but I think they're supposed to be like that. So let me finish 
preparing these and then we'll do a taste test. By the way, I just, I just remembered I had this in the refrigerator, the Tabasco jalapeno jelly, and I thought that would probably be wonderful with the ham and the cheese. So I'm going to do a couple like that. And I don't want, uh, you know, this is kind of an appetizer, so I don't want it to be too heavy. I need a clean spoon. We just love this jalapeno jelly, especially with the sauce we made for my egg roll video. I'm sorry, not for the egg roll, for the wonton video. If you want to check that video out, it's a really good recipe. So I'll just do a couple like this with the jalapeno. So you have a combination of flavors that you can offer your guests. And let me finish these two and I'll show you what they look the like. ones I've prepared. And uh, we're going to do a little taste test. I know the biscuits are fine just by themselves. You don't even have to add anything. I'm, And that's a new fig jam for me. I'm not sure how good it is. I didn't even taste it yet. Hmm. Well, the biscuit is just absolutely delicious, and you can really taste the butter. It's so good. And the cheese and the ham with a little bit of fig jam, the sweet and salty. Oh, it's my favorite combination. See? You just put a little piece of ham on there because it's an appetizer. But these are so good. And what I'm going to do is some of the biscuits, I'm going to freeze them. And you can just reheat them in the oven for a couple of minutes. Let them come to room temperature, then you can heat them in the oven. And they're just as good. Because it makes quite a few. But I thought this would be a good appetizer to film. With the Super Bowl coming up and everything. And plus, uh, I just love biscuit recipes. And I wanted to share this recipe with you. And I thank you for watching. I hope I didn't talk too much, too long. Please subscribe for more videos. It only takes a second, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.